All right, this will be kind of a quick blurb before uh, before I head to bed. So, um, we have reached the computational power necessary almost. We're not quite there yet, but it's predicted that within like the next 10, maybe 20 years, we could get to the point where a computer could actually emulate a uh, like an entire universe if you really wanted it to. And so... If we're only 20, 50, maybe even 100 years away from that, assuming there's other intelligent life out there, there is a strong, very strong possibility that they may have created a simulation of a universe within their, within their, uh, I guess, society or something. So because of this, uh, if you were to, if we were to take, like, the latest Call of Duty game or something, let's say it sold like 12 million copies, but each of those games of Call of Duty was a simulation of an entire universe that can just run on like a home PC or something. At that point, you would have about a 1 in 12 million chance of being in the real universe. So what you also have is you can nest this, where let's say that simulation created their own simulation and then you have a one in 12 million to the square or, or squared and since this is infinitely nestable you actually have what is technically a one in infinitesimally small chance of being in the real universe to the point where some scientists say would some scientists would say that you have such a statistically insignificant chance of being in the real universe that it's not even you can't even assume that you're in the real universe now that gets into like kind of a philosophical debate but just as far as could we simulate a universe and could somebody else simulate a universe the answer is you, you really can't assume you're in the you're in the real reality and where this gets into philosophy is there's no question to like hard solipsism as well as there's no solution to are we in the matrix, you know? Are we a brain brain in a bat, whatever, you know? Are we are we living in a simulation, you know? And that isn't really testable. All you can do is test what is real and what is right in front of you. Now, obviously it wouldn't make sense to live if you just assumed you're in a simulation. <laughs> You know, you still have to treat reality as if it's real and that your choices have consequences and all that. But usually the argument you'll hear from, especially like scientists, is, or like rather like self professed atheist scientists, is that you can only test what's right in front of you, what is measurable, observable, testable, and repeatable. So because you can't test reality itself, you also have a strong chance of somebody above you managing the simulation. And again, you have a practically infinite chance of somebody being out there controlling the simulation. Now, if you were to... Uh, if you were <laughs> If you were to think of that person as God, then you have a you actually have a very extremely significantly high chance of God not only being out there, but God potentially having multiple universes that he can control, you know? And that always kind of, that always kind of stuck with me because especially as I study more about like philosophy and religion and stuff, I'm like, how do you test the metaphysical? And the answer is you can't. You know, it's a nonsensical thing because it is transcendent from, I mean, this is like a form of tag, is just that because a god would be transcendent, there is no way to actually observe a god in this universe, much less uh, any impact that he would have on it, he or she, whatever. But I guess the argument I'm making is because you can't even test that your reality is real, and this is something that Christian apologists will usually bring up, which 
usually is easily debunked because like they will ask something stupid like there's a white mug in front of me how do you know there's a white mug in front of you it's like well by acknowledging that there is a white mug in front of me you have created a an observation uh that is objective because now two people can verify it you and you and me so that's not that's not what i'm talking about but i'm saying that reality itself could actually be and again the i cannot assume that i am in what would be a the root universe you know there could actually be a higher power that has created this universe basically now um, this does kind of get into like planetary formation or even like the beginning of the cosmos you know because i kind of opt into the idea that the universe had just kind of always been there you know where people usually say god must have created a universe but i'm like why would if there is an eternal god that can create a universe the universe could also be eternal and this could be due to natural process and that process seems to be uh heisenberg's uncertainty principle where given enough time statistically a big bang will inevitably happen so I don't know how exactly the simulation works. Some people have posited that we live in a holographic reality, which is a, a projection of two dimensions onto a three-dimensional plane. And it's possible. I mean, I haven't... It's just a hypothesis. It doesn't really... But they said that because you can kind of tell by the edge of the universe uh, that it kind of resembles a hologram. That, that's the that's the idea supposedly but i haven't delved too much into holographic reality but that's kind of what i wanted to say tonight is yeah i mean we can only test what's actually in front of us but there are so many questions that will always be left unanswered and i don't i don't think we'll ever find a true answer for something like heart solipsism or i mean there's good arguments against it but you also you can't assume even that uh your reality has not been created basically and the person that created it would be the equivalent to a god somebody living outside of the simulation controlling it so i would say that because we can't assume that we're in the real universe that while reality is real it also you can't test what's outside of it and this this argument can be translated a few different ways. I think tag is kind of the the main one. But that's kind of what I'm saying though, is we can't even test if reality is real. So how could we how can we claim that we have proof against a creator or something? Uh that's just kind of my blurb for tonight. <laughs> Hopefully that made some sense. There's probably many arguments against what I just said and I probably just bullshitted, but Whatever, that's kind of what I've come up with. Alright, thanks.